trust exes to come in when exes mess up. What does Khloe Kardashian's ex say about Tristan Thompson? Stay tuned to get all the details. Our focus is brought to Lammer Odom, Khloe's ex who took up the chance to share his thoughts about the whole Tristan Thompson drama. I don't know why exes always feel all courage up every time another ex messes up. I mean, it is almost like they forget why they separated in the first place. Anyways, only Chloe can be the judge of this. After denying fathering a child, Tristan took it to his Instagram to apologize stating that paternity results are out and he is in fact the father of Marilee Nichols' son. He went further ahead to apologize to Chloe for causing her such humiliation. Picturing the whole incident, Tristan's apology is not even going to cut it. He went beyond humiliating and embarrassing Chloe. Okay, fine, dude did father a child outside, but do you know what is annoying? The fact that the baby was conceived at the time of his birthday. The Kardashians during his birthday in March celebrated him, but clearly, he had no thoughts of them. It is confirmed that he hooked up with Marilee on his birthday back in March. He has been shamelessly leaving and loving on Chloe all, while knowing just what he has done. A lot has been said pertaining this situation and honestly, Chloe is receiving more backlash and encouragement. However, one man, one particular ex waited to show his support to Chloe. As per what he had to say, Lammer clearly was not feeling Tristan. His message showed that he was in total disregard of Tristan's character. Let us begin with his statement that Chloe deserves the world. Tristan has definitely fallen short of deserving Chloe. Instead of giving her the world like Lammer points out, Tristan has given himself to the world. Note the sarcasm. Nothing can fix this, not even an apology. Thus, paternity drama has become the crown of all the scandals. Now it is not bad to reproduce. Don't get it twisted, but having three baby mamas, one of which you fathered out of your giving to the world nature is crazy. I mean, when you relate to the text message, he sent Marilee offering her seven to $5,000 because he is soon going to be unemployed. You think the guy is all sort of considerate, but then again, isn't that an insult? So, is it okay for you to sleep around, but not pay up when consequences arise, just because you'll soon be retired? Sheesh. Lammer further says that he wishes nothing but the best for Chloe considering she is a good person. On this point, it just sheds light on just how much of a serial cheater Tristan was. Here is Chloe's ex terming her as a good person and wishes for the very best but somehow, Tristan in the years they have been dating treated Chloe as though she deserved all the bad luck in her relationship. Instead of appreciating the fact that Chloe stuck around despite his numerous disappointments or better yet letting the poor girl go and find luck herself, Tristan continued to humiliate and deny her. When you look at what Marilee says, you note that she is clear on the fact that she never knew Tristan was dating. He introduced himself as single and co-parenting. Was this his silent wish and didn't know how to spill it out, or clearly Lammer was right in saying Chloe deserves the world. She definitely deserves to be flaunted out to the world and acknowledged not be hidden behind a whole serial cheer. In line to Tristan's statement, where he says to Chloe that she does not deserve any of this including the heartaches and humiliation. Lammer has stepped in to state that he would like to reconnect with Chloe, just like how the world views Tristan as a disappointment. Lammer looks like he shares the same sentiments. Why else would he publicly, in relation to Tristan's post, make a move towards Chloe? Is it that he has lost all respect for Tristan? Is he that confident of the end of Tristan and Chloe? To be labeled by fans as a community property plus all the other nasty words that have been directed to Tristan is okay considering he barely knows you all fans. But being come up by an ex of your girl, that is a huge blow to your ego. Well, for men, they only wake up from their slandering activities when their egos have been bruised, causing them to lose far much more. In all those years of humiliating Chloe, not once has Tristan ever offered Chloe a public apology. But on this one time, where he can't escape, he feels his remorseful nature is enough to wipe away everything. Standing strong with Lammer's view on this drama. Tristan has done the worst, and he should know that Chloe does in fact have suitors who include exes ready to fall at her feet when she is ready. This is not the first time the Lammer has shared his thoughts on Chloe. Back in July, he was very open saying that he still loves Chloe. At the time, Chloe and Tristan were still together, and no drama had erupted. Does this mean that right from the past, Lammer saw no future for Tristan and Chloe. He probably saw right through his fellow man. That is why he was forefront with his feelings. Chloe is yet to respond to any of these. She needs time off, but we can't wait to see just how it goes with Lammer. Will she let him back seeing as he is promising him everything Tristan should have offered? Will their seven years of togetherness touch Chloe's heart and rekindle the old flames? 
stay tuned to get the juice. That is all for today. Bye-bye.